Welcome back to our channel again. This is Captain Sherry, and we have Mariners Coaching Academy. And today we are going to discuss a very important uh, question, which has been asked frequently in chief mate orals, and that is regarding accommodation ladder five yearly load test. Right. So first, you need to know why we conduct five yearly load test and why it is important. Okay. So as you know, we are using accommodation ladder. to step ashore at the same time third party which means it can include pilots surveyors stevedores authorities they use accommodation ladder to come on ship so if we are not testing it five yearly and we are not doing a load test it can lead to accidents it can lead to a lot of deaths or lot of accidents or you can say a uh, lot of uh, injuries that is why five yearly load test is very very important now five yearly load test is governed by certain regulation and these regulations are solus chapter 2 part 1 okay and there is means of embarkation and disembarkation from ships so solus regulations are also involved lula regulation right and third is msc circular 1331 so if surveyor is asking you which regulations are governing five yearly load test you can name all three of them starting from solus chapter 2 then lula and then going to msc circular 1331 right now this accommodation load test can be done by various methods you can also use sand bags at the same time you can also use water bags to conduct a load test right so what we do in water bags we basically connecting a hose over here <clears throat> okay over there you connect the hose fill this bag with the water right and this bag will have some weight okay it might have say x kgs of water in it okay so depending on what kind of load we are looking at to test we will place those bags accordingly on the accommodation ladder okay right okay now how do you decide that what load should be applied to the accommodation ladder that reference has been only given in msc circular 1331 so let's go and see and look into msc circular 1331 now this is a very important circular as far as this question is concerned right so as i told you that it is governed by certain regulations so solus is mentioned already over there and msc circular 1131 is also there which is in front of your screen now what does it say is about the load test so if you see your screen the table is divided into survey testing obviously winch and accommodation ladder arrangement and gangway okay so when firstly there is a in initial installation of accommodation ladder there are two kind of test which are done the first test is static load test and the second test is operational test so there are two kind of test which are done in the initial setup or installation static load test is what okay and how to conduct that let's see that now so what it is saying is apply load as per 5.3.2 uniformly with the winch holding ladder in a horizontal position it is very simple to understand it is saying that 
you should hold the ladder and who is holding the ladder the wire and where is the wire it is on the winch so basically the winch should be holding a ladder in a horizontal position and that is how a test is conducted also the weight is distributed uniformly you will not put all the water bags or all the weight at the same place otherwise it will damage the steps so you need to uniformly place the weights now apply load as per 5.3.2 what does it say so let's go to 5.3.2 and discuss okay 5.3.2 now look at this this is your 5.3.2 all right this is your 5.3.2 now what does it say is the load used for the test should be design load now what is this design load basically design load is the load for which the accommodation ladder is designed and from where you will get this design load you will get this design load from the manufacturer manufacturer understood or not so design load is means accommodation ladder is designed for a specific load and that is called a design load for that accommodation ladder and you will get it from the manual or from the manufacturer okay right so from there the design load will come so it is saying you can test it on a design load right the first method is you can test it on a design load now if i open a manufacturer book and if it is written say x kg so i need to test it on that particular load or second is option is maximum operational load maximum operation load now when you will use maximum operation load if maximum operation load which means when you are putting a load and operating the accommodation ladder that load is called as maximum operational load okay there are certain conditions also attached to maximum operation load okay which is you know testing it at a maximum angle okay how much load a accommodation ladder can take at that point okay right and if maximum operation load why it will come into picture if maximum operation load is lesser than the designed load and it is marked as per paragraph 3.5 then you can use maximum operation load now it is not a preference it is not a preference okay if i take you back to the table table says that you need to test it as per 5.3.2 5.3.2 is saying you test it at a design load but if your maximum operation load is less than the design load okay say for example design load was say i just for the example sake i am saying if it was 100 kg your design load as per the manufacturer okay right but if you are looking at the accommodation ladder and there is a plate and in that plate it is written 80 kg in that plate it is written 80 kg now you need to test it on 80 kg because 80 kg is less than 100 kg your maximum operation load is less than the design load that is why now you need to test it at a maximum operation load but what is the condition it should be lesser than the design load and it should be marked also on the plate understood or not if it is not marked the condition is not fulfilled then you need to go only as per the design load right understood so this is your second thing what is the third condition now there might be some cases where you don't have design load or maximum operation load they are unknown so design load or maximum operation load is not known now why it happened or why it would have happened because there were some accommodation ladders okay or there were some gangways theek okay, hai which were provided on board of ship which were constructed prior to 1st january 2010 right so these 
ship might not have either of them neither a design load so design load is not there okay or say they don't have a plate also where a maximum operational load is mentioned they don't have okay in that case what will we do we will not stop testing the accommodation letter right but now the load has to be nominated by a ship owner or an operator in this case understood or not in this case a nominated load should be used at the maximum operation load for all purposes within these guidelines right so there are three things understand this very very carefully if surveyor is asking which load you are going to apply okay so you will say sir i will test it on the design load and design load i can see in the manufacturer manual but if there is a plate on the accommodation ladder and there if it has been defined maximum operation load and if that maximum operation load figure is lesser than the design load and it is marked clearly then i will test it on the maximum operation load right understood or not and that is how you are going to carry out a static load test okay now there is another paragraph if you want to pay attention to that which is test should be carried out with the load applied uniformly as possible along the length of the accommodation ladder or gangway understood or not right at the angle of inclination corresponding to maximum bending moment on the accommodation ladder or the gangway now in simple world it is saying that it should be uniform which we discussed earlier it also told you that not only uniform but it should be in such a way that angle should be such that that maximum bending moment should act on the accommodation ladder and which is that angle if you make it parallel right understood or not okay so that is why your angle of inclination okay should be such that it should be tested and it should correspond to the maximum bending moment right understood after you completed the test and if there is no deformation or damage to the tested item then your test is successful right understood or not and the load used for the test should be marked as the maximum operation load as per 3.5 so now it becomes the maximum operation load okay understood or not because you tested at that load right a maximum operation load where it is known you don't need to you know put uh this or mark this but if you were a ship where it was not known then obviously you test it on the on the nominated load and after testing on the nominated load once you successfully tested it there is no damage or deformation now what will happen that nominated load will become the maximum operation load and you need to mark it as per 3.5 understood or not okay now let us see let us see the other thing operational test operational test now the second was operational test so this was there apply 3.6.2 with the weight of ladder only raise and lower the ladder at least twice now what it is saying is apply 3.6.2 so let us see what is 3.6.2 right let us see that and uh, let us see and the 3.6.2 is what so here it is 3.6.2 okay so what it is saying is when you are carrying out the operational test now operational test will not have any weight it will only have the weight of the ladder as a complete unit so the winch should be tested as a part of complete accommodation ladder unit right a minimum of two type hoisting and lowering of accommodation ladder in accordance with the on board test requirement specified 
in applicable international standards such as ISO 7364, right? 1983. So there are ISO standards according to that, okay, it should be tested. And what they are saying is when you are doing the test as per 3.6.2, so what you do is, what you do is you lower the ladder and hoist the ladder minimum two times. Okay, so during the initial installation, you need to do it as per 3.6.2, which is which means that you need to lower it and hoist it minimum two times. Okay, and the standard should be ISO 7364, right? 1983. Okay, right? Understood? So I'm just going back again to the table. Okay, so what it is saying is operational test apply 3.6.2 so we just discussed that okay with the weight of ladder only and 3.6.2 is also the short in short they've also mentioned here ki raise the and lower the ladder at least twice and that's it okay understood or not and you need to only do it with the weight of the ladder okay right so that is related to your initial installation. Initial installation. Okay. So you've got static load test and you've got operational test. There are two kinds of tests. Right. Now let's go to renewal and let's come to the main question of five yearly load test, which happens during a renewal survey. Right. So what happens here? Static load test. Okay. So static load test, you are carrying out first, then you are also carrying out operational test. Two tests, same like your initial installation, static load test and operational test. Now what do you do? Again, apply load as per 5.3.2. Uniformly, with the winch holding the ladder in a horizontal position, we, we have also discussed why horizontal position, because maximum stress on the accommodation ladder will only occur at the horizontal position itself. It is a common sense. Understood or not? So again, you will apply the load as per 5.3.2. Now you guys will tell me which load is to be applied. Right? So if it is design load, right? So you will take it, you will look into the manufacturer's manual and say the design load is 100 kilos. Right? And you will also see if there is any plate on the accommodation ladder. And if it is it is saying maximum operational load is 80 kgs, which means it is lesser than the design load. So you will test it on that load, right? On maximum operation load. But if it is not present, neither of them, right? Neither you know the design load or neither you know uh, the maximum operation load then you will be nominating that load and that nomination will be done by the owner or whatever it is right so in that case in that case okay once you have done the test on the nominated load right then you will have it marked on the plate as a maximum operational load for the next time right now what is the second test? Operational test. But there is a difference now between the in initial installation and five yearly operational test. Raise and lower the ladder once. Okay. Five yearly, what you do? You do it only one time. Only one time you are doing. And only you have the weight of the ladder. Understood or not? Right? Understood or not? Now, I want to also show you what is there in 3.5, which we are seeing marking. So each accommodation ladder, what it is saying is, kaise mark karna hai? each accommodation ladder or gangway should be clearly marked at each end with a plate showing restriction on the safe operation and loading, including maximum and minimum permitted design angles for inclination, design load, maximum load on the bottom end plate, etc. Understood? And where the maximum operational load is, 
less than the design load it should be also shown on the marking plate understood so that is how you need to mark it as per 3.5 right okay now when the load test is generally done so you should know this also because surveyor can ask this also so normally it is completed at the time of passenger ship safety survey or cargo ship safety equipment survey okay right so obviously not later than 5 years okay and after 1st january 2010 for existing arrangements on existing ship theek hai at a interval no more than 5 years measured from the completion of the first test right understood